perhaps among other things, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was the most spectacular Aeolian harp in history. Unfortunately, its first performance was destined to run only about four months. In the meantime, she was a beautiful bridge. Beautiful, but a little strange. Even before construction was completed, people observed its peculiar behavior. That was because, even in a light breeze, ripples ran along the bridge. After a while, one of the local humorists called her Galloping Gertie. And for fairly obvious reasons, the name stuck, at least until the 7th of November, 1940. Then as now, Seattle and Tacoma were sports-minded cities. For four months, a regional sport was to drive across the bridge on a windy day. While some claimed it was like riding a roller coaster, others found it a little disconcerting to see the car in front disappear. How popular this bridge sport was, or to what extent it might have spread across the country, is anybody's guess. On November 7, 1940, the winds were relatively moderate, about 40 miles per hour. A new mode appeared. Rather than ripple, the bridge began to twist. A wind of 40 miles per hour is not too strong, but it was strong enough to start the bridge twisting violently. At 11 a.m., it fell. Investigators were mystified. A bridge constructed according to the best engineering standards of the day. Perhaps the best bridge in the world. This was not a bridge that was supposed to collapse. What in the world had happened? Theodore von Karman, a Caltech professor, and a pioneer in modern aerodynamics, came forth with the answer. Von Karman's explanation of vortex shedding and resonant oscillations was not universally popular among construction engineers. However, as verified by wind tunnel tests at Caltech and at the University of Washington, von Karman's explanation